birds of a feather flock together and it's so true. Very often you'll find parents really concerned about the people that their children, maybe you, hang around with complaining all the time and it can be very annoying but it is very important. I read some research recently that suggested that you are the average of the five people you spend most of your time with. So just take a moment to think about the five people who you do spend most of your time with. List their names down. Look at who they are, what they represent, what they do, what they've achieved. And then ask yourself, are you comfortable with being the average of those five people? Now, if you're comfortable, that's okay and that's fine. If you're not comfortable and you need more and you want more and you have greater ambitions, then you need to ask yourself, are you actually in the right crowd? And that doesn't necessarily mean you stop being friends with long-term friends and family members and people you've loved forever. It just means you need to start challenging yourself by finding people who represent the best of what you would like to be. People who you see as role models maybe. People who you think have challenged themselves and you find them interesting and ask yourself, how do I maybe spend a little bit more time with them? How do I engage a little bit more? And if they're very far removed from you, that might mean reading about them. That might mean understanding the life they've led, understanding how they achieved what they achieved and their challenges. You may not be able to actually spend time with them, but mentally you can be with them if you're following their journey. So it's really important to always look round and ask yourself, where are you positioning yourself? Who are the people you are spending time with? Do you respect those people? Do they represent the values that you believe in? Because inevitably, if you spend most of your time with them, those are the values that you will live by. In terms of digital media, we need to understand that the way we live our life in reality, in the real world, has to be reflected by the way we live our life on digital. So if I walk into a conversation and I find people being rude, crude, or lewd, I would simply walk away. I wouldn't stay, I wouldn't participate, I would either say this is unacceptable and then walk away or I'd simply walk away. But why is it that so often we find we can do things on social media that we would not do in person. Again, your social media persona is simply an extension of who you are. So the conversations you have, the people you spend most of your time with even on social media, and the way that you engage, again, is a representation of you. If you are comfortable with that right now, that's fine. If you expect and if you want more, then reach higher. Look for the people in the personalities on social media that represent the kind of conversations that you feel are worthy and important of your time. Engage with those people. Have discussions with those people. Have debates at that level and elevate yourself as much as possible. My bottom line is you are a reflection of what you do. Whatever you think you are, if that's not what you do, then unfortunately that's not what you are. The people you hang around with reflect the person that you become. The conversations you take part in reflect who you are. And the social media life that you lead is a part of your being and cannot be disconnected from you. So take a moment to ask yourself, are you comfortable and happy with the people you're with? Do you need to elevate? Are you comfortable and happy with your social media life? Do you need to clean it up? And that's an important conversation as well for the future. So that's an easy one for now. You are a reflection of the people you hang around. Birds of a feather flock together. If you're with vultures and you want to move to the eagles, then you better get moving. Blessings. <laughs>